In this video, we're going to work out this indefinite integral. So we're going to use something called u substitution. So typically, when you're doing a u substitution, you let u be your inside piece. So there's a couple ways of doing this problem. At first glance, you might think, oh, we can let u be equal to 5x. That would work, but then we would have to do another u substitution after that. If you're wondering why, it's because we have a cube root function here. So we're actually going to let u be what's inside this cube root function. So that will let us work it out. So let's try it. So we'll let u be equal to the tangent of 5x, so the piece that's inside the cube root. And now we're going to take the derivative. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So here it's tangent of 5x. So the derivative will be secant squared of 5x times the derivative of the inside. That's the chain rule. So the derivative of 5x is simply 5 and then we have the dx. Okay, we're almost there. So now our goal is to make whatever we have here look like what's in the integral. So we have the secant squared 5x dx, we have that here, but we have an extra five. So what we do now is we make this look like this. In other words, we have to get rid of the five. So we'll divide by the five because it's being multiplied. So that's the inverse operation. Boom! So du over 5. Now, we're going to end up pulling this constant out. So typically, when you get to this step, what you do is you write it like this, 150 u. That's just foresight. You do enough of these, and you start to realize, oh, I'm going to end up pulling the number out. So it's just a good habit to get into. And we're left with this beautiful piece here, secant squared of 5x, and then, and then dx. Really, really beautiful stuff. So this works out perfectly. This thing here in a box is simply 150u. So now we can make our substitution in a very clean way. So this is 1 fifth integral, cube root of tangent 5x, so cube root of u, because that's our u, and this piece here is du times 1 fifth. So this becomes this, and then this is this. We have to integrate this. So we have to write this as u to a power. So there's a one here, so what you can do is you can write it as follows. It's u to the 1 over 3, 1 over 3. So it's u to the 1 over 3, and then you have your du. So now we can use the power rule. It means we add 1 and divide by the result. So this is 1 fifth, adding 1. So 1 plus 1 third is 3 thirds plus 1 third, so it's 4 thirds. So it's u to the 4 thirds, and we're dividing by 4 thirds. So when you divide by 4 thirds, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So 3 fourths plus our constant integration, capital C. Yikes! So again, we added 1, so we got 4 thirds. Divided by 4 thirds, that's multiplying by 3 fourths. Okay, so this is 3 over 20. 4 times 5 is 20. And u was over here. So I'm going to write it like this. Parentheses tangent of 5x parentheses four thirds plus c. You could use shorthand notation. You can put the four thirds here on the end, but I will leave it like this. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.